Yo, what up, it's Don. Seventy here. We are the Soul Brothers, wrapping up 2016. A dope year for sneakers and performance basketball shoes as well. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of top top lists of the year. This is our favorite shoes uh, personally. Each um, we're gonna do about five shoes each of the year of 2016. Uh, so you want to kick it off? All right. So number five for me is the Kobe AD. I really like that shoe. Um, I've been liking a lot more minimal, just dope uh, guard shoes. Yeah. You know, um, not so much like you know, like Euro Seven. I really used to like those, but not as much anymore for some reason. Um, but yeah, the Kobe AD feels really li uh, light and minimal. Um, you do have to break it in, which is kind of annoying, but the traction is good. Uh, the cushion is not the best, but you get uh, okay impact protection and it's just responsive. So um, that's why I like this shoe. Word up. Um, okay, my number five, I'm gonna go with the Kobe 11 <coughs> Elite. Um, nice shoe, a little bit expensive, um, but you know. It's on uh, sale? Yeah, it's on sale, and uh, don't get the translucent. Try to get a solid one. Uh, and you know it's a great minimal light kind of guard shoe, um, and, and and I think it's one of the best aesthetically looking to come out this year. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, should we be showing the juice? All right. So here's the AD. Mm -hmm. um, for me, number four is the Hyperdunks. The Hyperdunks are the elites, right? Yeah, the elite flyknits. The flyknits. Um, the materials are really nice. The traction is really, really good. Besides, uh, with uh, with dust, um, the cushion is really good. Um, I use this for when my knees are feeling shitty. Mm -hmm. My knees are feeling shitty, and I want a little bit of impact protection. And then the flyknit material is nice. Um, so yeah. There's number four. Um, mm -hmm. Just watch out for the price, but you can still get it on sale, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, my number four is going to be the Hyperdunk Elite. Really? Also. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Or Flyknit. It's not Elite, right? It's no, just Flyknit. I think it's, it was, yeah. it's basically thing. Elite. Same thing. You know? um, but yeah, great shoe. Best impact protection uh, on the list, I would, I would think. Um, maybe buy a little bit and a uh, little bit too expensive though one of the other the other down draws yes. uh, downsides but um, all around a very very good shoe yes all right moving on to number three number three is, for me is the crazy explode mm. crazy explosive yeah um, yeah you guys already know I love the crazy explosive and a lot of you guys DM us with you guys um, getting the crazy explosive and sending us a picture you guys are saying it's really really nice I know it's nice, man. It's freaking nice. So yeah, there you go. Nice. Very nice. Okay, um, my number three. I don't know how you copied my list, but mine is also the crazy explosive. Mm. Mm. Very, very, interesting. very interesting. We didn't talk about this before the video. At all. We were just like, okay, let's do top five, <laughs> and we just made our own fucking list. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, but that's interesting. Cool. Um, so yeah. Crazy Explosive is an awesome shoe. Uh, you guys, uh, a better shoe than the Crazy Explosive is the Crazy Explosive Y3. Oh yeah, of course. You guys gotta get that. Uh, but you know, we haven't been able to cop those yet, but if we Too do- Too high level for us, you know? Yeah, but when we do, I'm sure those will be at the top of the list. But yes. Crazy Explosive, it would have been higher if the traction was better. It's good traction, not the best though. I like a little more traction. Yes. Um, so there's that. All right, number two. Number two for me is the <clears throat> Kobe 11 EM. Ooh. Boom Shaka. These are freaking nice. Traction is on point. Yeah. The cushion is the the saloon one is actually pretty nice in this yeah. one for some reason. I don't know why, but then um, it's still responsive though. A slightly bouncy, very mm -hmm. minimal bounce, but just a little bit. Um, and the fit is nice. It's amazing. It feels very minimal. So there's that. All right. Uh, my number two is going to be the KD9. Okay. Very nice shoe. Uh, very happy that Sam uh, forced me to get a pair. Um, <laughs> I finally got some and they're sick. Uh, great impact protection. Um, fit was really good for me because I have a narrow foot. They do run a little bit narrow. Um, feel light, um, minimal, not too expensive. Traction could be a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit better. I keep saying that. Um, but man, I feel like companies are fucking up, man. Yeah. It's like, get the traction right, step one. But still, it's number two on my list. Yes. 
Now for number one, for me, is a uh, shoe that didn't fuck up on traction, and it's the Harden Ones. Mm. Uh, if you guys have been following us on uh, Instagram, if you, guys, uh, don't, uh, if you guys follow us there, I haven't been uh, doing the Harden Ones for uh, shoes for tonight. I haven't, been, I haven't worn these actually in like a week, because I have like five shoes to fucking, uh, I have five shoes to view, and I just don't want to carry another shoe around, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I really love playing these. The traction is beast. The uh, the cushion uh, is very responsive, but it still has okay impact protection. Not the best, but it's okay. Um, uh, and then the materials are good. Fit is amazing. Um, so it just feels like very, very. Uh, it's a very reliable shoe for me. You know. Right. So <clears throat> there you go. That's uh, my list. All right, my number uno is going to be the Kobe 11 EM. Um, it just it feels like you're wearing nothing and you do get a little bit of cushion traction is nuts um, and I even use it as a trainer it's fairly cheap at this point you can get it on sales uh, it just I don't know <clears throat> I wasn't even expecting it to be as nice as it was but I, I should have because my Kobe 9 EM was one of my favorite shoes ever and uh, this shoe is, is some about it it's just such a comfortable easy shoe to wear and uh, uh, that's why it's my number one. Yeah. Let's let's talk real quick about consolation. Yes. Um, we definitely have to give a consolation to the Kyrie Three. Uh, we're not really including it in 2016. We're gonna keep that in 2017, um, even though it did drop in 2016. But it's it's still like really nice. It, it would be way up on my list. Yes. But, uh, as of right now. But <clears throat> it's just uh, I have to keep. Um, just keep playing it, you know, uh, probably yeah. for a few months just to see how my legs are. Yeah. Because uh, I have to just keep testing, like, uh, just with the Kyrie 3s and, like, how my legs uh, react to just playing in the Kyrie 3s and how, how are my knees and shit. So I might put it down on the list if it starts hurting a lot after playing it for a few months. But if it doesn't, then it's probably going to be high up, higher up on the list. But I doubt that because the cushion sucks. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. You know, we, we've been able to sit on a lot of these shoes for a long time and they move up up and down in our rotation you know exactly and so this is kind of the the year-end wrap-up of our individually picks and of course we're different people you know I'm a little bit bigger um, Sam is a little bit quicker so you know we kind of uh, like different things in shoes sometimes or feel the shoe differently because uh, we're different weights but um, so there it is I hope we helped you guys out somewhat and uh, thank you guys for Fucking with us in 2016 and 2017 is gonna be a great year. Um, Soul Brothers, 2017 to infinity. Later. Peace.